What's up guys, in this video I'm gonna share with you how you can put money into a renovation and get triple your money back when you go to sell the property. Let's get started. So this place has been rented out for the past six years and to say that it's been beat up around the edges is an understatement. The carpet is filthy, the walls are dinged up, this place is an absolute mess. Let's start in the foyer and the first thing we're gonna do is replace this light fixture. This may be the most depressing light fixture I've ever seen. It only has one bulb working and the fixture is actually original to when the building was built in 1987. And you'll notice this unit has popcorn ceilings. We're actually gonna leave those the way they are simply because it would not be good ROI if the seller spent money to smooth that out. Doing this type of project is time consuming and expensive and the seller is on a schedule and a budget. And as we go through here, we're not gonna do everything. This is not an HGTV renovation with shiplap, shiplap, barn door here, barn door there. This is a real renovation with real people and real budget. So we're only gonna do the renovations that make sense for a good ROI. In the living room, we're obviously gonna rip out all of this carpet and we're gonna install brand new Pergo laminate floors. Now there is a common misperception out there that laminate equals cheap. So here's the deal, in condos, you're not allowed to install real hardwood floors. So many owners offer some sort of laminate option. The laminate option that we chose has an authentic look and feel to it. It's one of the highest rated floors out there right now. And it's one of the most expensive laminate flooring options. Now guys, during renovations, there are ways to let's just say cut corners but you don't want to do that on flooring because when someone walks through that front door the floors are going to be one of the first things that they notice so i always recommend that sellers and owners alike up their budget and spend money on high quality floors all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to paint the entire condo and even if you're not going to do a major renovation project like this one painting is the number one thing that you can do to improve the property's value before you sell. We go with a Sherwin-Williams passive gray with white for the trim. That's our equation, it works out great. And we use that for every single property renovation that we do. The third thing that we're gonna do is replace all light fixtures. We already mentioned it in the foyer before. We're gonna do the foyer light, the kitchen light, and then the sunroom light as well. As much as this video is about what to renovate, it's also a video about what not to renovate. Everyone wants to see a brand new property, but that's not always feasible. If the sellers were to renovate this entire unit, that would cost them about $75,000. However, when they go to sell, there is no chance that they would make that $75,000 back, and there's no chance that they would break even. So let's take a look at the things that we're not going to be renovating, because they may surprise you. Kitchen, bathroom, second part of the bathroom, a second full bathroom. And to answer your question, yes, the seller did get permits. Yes, the shower does work. And no, it probably doesn't add a lot of value. However, the seller did turn the half bathroom into a full bathroom. So we've got that going for us. The total budget for this renovation is around $17,000, labor and materials included. Now, if we were to try to sell this property right now in its current gross condition, we'd probably sell it for around $440,000. But when we put in this money to the renovation, we're gonna to look to sell it for around four ninety dollars to $500,000, which would triple that $17,000 initial investment. Okay, are you ready for the big reveal? Let's check it out. And here we are. Can't wait to show you what we did. Let's take a look around.
Now to summarize, we did new hardwood floors, new light fixtures, new paint, and we just professionally staged the entire property. And the seller actually spent about $17,000 on the renovation if you do renovation and staging combined. However, when you take a look at the ROI that they're gonna get, they're basically gonna 3X their money. The condo was worth about 440 before the renovation. Now it's gonna be worth close to $500,000. And on the other hand, buyers that are looking in this area for a two bed, two bath condo in Roslyn for under $500,000, that is an absolute steal. So we're on the market now. I'd love to know your thoughts. Leave them in the comment section below. And of course, if you wanna check out a showing, I'd be happy to show it to you. My name is Matt Layton. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, create a productive day. Take care.